Hey guys. Oh wait, this lighting is kind of bad. So um, let's fix the lighting situation. Much better lighting. Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you've never seen this face before, my name is Shauna and you should definitely subscribe because I post new videos every single week. And in today's video, I'm gonna be decorating my car. First things first, I am in my driveway and maybe my neighbors can hear me, maybe they can't. And like, I'm also in lockdown and I don't want to get a $750 fine for being out for a non-essential reason. Even though I think decorating my car is super cute with things I found on Amazon and Etsy is essential. And if you guys have not been in the loop or you're new to my channel, I got my first car a couple weeks ago. My grandparents gave me their 2009 Ford Mustang GT convertible and I told you guys I was going to do a whole Amazon haul and decorate it for you guys. Yeah. What else? Um, and I don't know if you guys follow me on TikTok, but this car is getting famous on TikTok. I'm not even saying I'm getting famous because literally the only TikTok of mine that blow up are about my boyfriend, about my dog, or now about my car. So I have been slowly cleaning the car because I am in exam season, so I couldn't really just take a whole day off to clean. So I've been doing a little bit here and there, and I decided to just do the cleaning on TikTok because I don't think you guys would want to see me scrub seats and vacuum. Like, it's kind of just a boring vlog. If you want to see it, let me know. But I decided to just post the cleaning stuff on TikTok just for fun, you know? And the first video I posted of me just doing a quick clean of the car got 4.5 million views on TikTok. Do you guys see that? 4.5 million. Like, I still can't even comprehend that number. Comment down below if you came from that TikTok or you just come from... Why are their dogs beefing? That better not be my dog. Um... You guys are getting the whole surrounds down here. We got dogs, we got birds. Next thing you know, we're gonna have a freaking cow. I'll throw in the clips of me cleaning the car that I had made for my TikTok. I'm not gonna throw in the actual TikTok because I don't get copyrighted. This car had a lot of just oldness to it. I'm gonna say that. There was dried up sticky grape juice in the cup holders, as you'll see, and a lot of dust, a lot of leaves, a lot of dirt, and it took me like two and a half hours to vacuum out the whole thing, get all the grim out. There's still like the tight little cracks I still need to get into and figure out how I'm gonna clean that. And I also still need to change out the filter because because right now it's just using a disposable filter like under the hood and I want to change it to one of the reusable ones and I also bought like a cleaner to clean the fabric soft top which will probably just be in a TikTok if you guys want to see it so make sure you're following my TikTok. Also my neighbor across the street is now outside so he's literally staring at me. As you can see, I got a Amazon Prime box sitting here next to me, and I ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon, a few things from small businesses, and one thing from Etsy, and I'm just gonna show everything here, and then we're gonna decorate my car. At the end, we'll do a quick tour. So first, let's start with the Amazon haul. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen it, but I got a car seat for my dog, and this dog literally looks like my dog. This is a Yorkie. My dog is a half Yorkie. He's a Morkie, a Maltese and Yorkie. The seats in this car are really low, obviously, so my dog can't look out the window and also when I put the roof down I don't want my dog to jump out of my car because that would be very bad I actually already put it together and it's in the trunk right now because when I'm not using it I just throw it in the trunk I bought some car tire caps there were some really cool aluminum ones that I saw on Amazon that had like the Mustang logo on it except aluminum or like metal caps can actually like cause rust and like tarnish and like other chemical reactions when you have them on tire cap so I bought these red plastic ones because the ones on it right now are green which tell you that you're supposed to put like the nitrogen I'm pretty sure I could be completely wrong so please don't come at me but I don't like how they look so I bought red ones also everything I'm showing will be linked down below in case you want to get any of it I got this phone holder from Amazon I got plate covers to cover my plates um, for one no one can steal my sticker and two just to keep them clean I got a fob cover I'm pretty sure this one's actually from eBay though because I couldn't find one on Amazon for this model of the car I got coaster cup holders cigarette lighter charger things the one you plug in so i can charge my phone with like a usb end on the other side and i also bought an aux cord from amazon except evan my boyfriend he needed it for his car because his broke so i let him borrow the one that i just bought and he's gonna rebuy it 
so he can have one and I can have mine back. So I also got an aux cord, it's just not here. I got this cute car charm from Etsy. I saw one on Pinterest and I just knew I really wanted one to hang like right here. So the owner was so nice. I'll have her Etsy shop right here. She's actually from Canada in BC, I believe, and it just came today. I also got this. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw it. This isn't sponsored. I know I mentioned this in my Q&A, but I found this small business in Toronto and she takes like authentic Louis Vuitton bags. She shows like the authenticity and she gets them all like checked and stuff and then makes them into lanyards. And I think she does jewelry as well, but I ordered this from her website and I'm so obsessed with it. I was torn between this and getting the iconic off-white one that every single basic YouTuber has. So yeah, here's like a really cute close-up of it. It's about six inches and it just has the Louis Vuitton logos. She also has four inch ones, but I wanted to be able to just like slide it on my wrist for when I'm walking or whatever. And it has like the gold detailing here at the end. I'm so obsessed with it. I love it. This is my first Louis Vuitton anything and it's really special because one it's sustainable two it's handmade three it's supporting a local business and four it's authentic i'd rather just get something real designer even if it's upcycled and like remade and crafted than buying like fake designer or like knockoffs that's just my personal opinion. And then I also just brought things from my house that I want to use to like organize. I guess we could do the console. Oh yeah, my sunglasses. I meant to put these in here. There's actually not a lot of storage in this car. It's only a four seater and the glove compartment is really small, the console is small, and there's not really a lot of storage. So I need to figure out how I can fit my necessities without making it look cluttered or anything. Dinky and small. Very cute and small, and I like that you can plug in two USBs in it. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a little blue light, so I'm pretty sure it works. So I'm not going to keep it plugged in all the time because I don't need it on all the time. Another thing that I'm going to be using just to help organize are these little pouch thingies. Fun fact, these came with a pack of like pads or tampons, and it's to like carry your pads and tampons, but you see, I literally have so many because like I only ever need one, but I always need pads and tampons. So I have a bunch, so I decided to use them to just help organize things in my car because there's not a lot of like pouches and stuff so I don't have to like buy anything more and you know be cute and stuff but I also have a charger that I'm gonna keep in this little electronics pouch I actually didn't have to buy a charger this is the one I believe that came with my airpods so yeah I got a brand new charger here another little pouch thing I prepared for this black one my neighbors are probably all watching me from their windows but you know what woman i just have a spare tampon a liner and a pad because you know you never know when you're gonna need one i'll be putting some hand cream in my cart this is a really good citiful one and this giant thing of lip balm it's literally got sent to me probably like two years ago and i just don't really use it because it's so big so i thought it'd just be good to leave it in my car so i'll never run out it's a lip balm oil thing you know to moisturize those lips and also a tiny little perfume Taka, I don't even freaking know that brand, but it smells like flowers. It's just a mini perfume, you know, in case I ever stink or something. I'm debating if I want to be basic and put these like over here, you know? Does that look cute? Kind of. I know girls do this on Visco. I just don't know if I want to be one of those girls. Okay, and I'm gonna use another pouch to hold my masks. Cause I know you can just toss masks anywhere, but like I want to keep them clean, you know? We're always gonna need a mask around in these times, you know? I also just brought a random tote bag to keep in my trunk in case, you know, I'm ever going grocery shopping or just shopping and I want to carry things in a tote and be reusable. Oh, a pen. I brought a pen to put in my car. You always need a pen to like sign something. So I'm also going to put this in the console. Ooh, coasters, coasters. Where are my coasters? <gasps> coasters! I'm so excited for this. This is what the coaster looks like, but it actually comes with this like extender piece. If this is like too deep for your cups, you can just toss it in. In and then it makes them like an even length but if you're a really tall cup you just take it out these are the coasters that i got from amazon as you can see obviously it's the mustang logo i guess it's a little bit unnecessary but also just makes it easier when i want to clean i can just pull these out and then rinse them instead of having to rub and scrub in there so i think i'm going to set up the phone holder next i see oh that's bendy wow look at that um i'm just trying to figure out how to even put this together took a lot freaking longer than I freaking thought, but I think that'll be great for filming TikToks, not gonna lie. Let's hang my rainbow. Maybe that'll make me happy. Oh, that's gonna be unfortunate. Oh, I didn't think this through. 
Oh my god. Ow, ow. Oh, 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 I just knocked my funny bone on my knee. Ow, 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 ow. Why is this car decorating causing me so much pain? I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this setup, but like I'll see how it is when I'm driving and I might move the phone holder somewhere else. I don't know. So I'm going to put the plate covers on and change the tire caps and then we'll do a whole tour of the car. So I'm pretty sure I'm done and I'm ready to give you the car tour. Um, so here we go. Here's what my car looks like from the outside with the roof down. I showed it in the vlog, but it is the 45th anniversary car. So it has this like emblem all over it. And as you guys saw, I changed the tire caps to red, which I think looks so cool. It's a brighter red than this, but I think it just makes it pop. And if you come around, it's a little dirty on the top, but I'm not gonna wash it till I do the whole soft top and everything. And it has like the GT logo because it is a GT, obviously. This is what the other side looks like. And yeah, this is the only tire that has the cap left. So I think my next purchase will probably be buying new caps, but like I'm not in a rush to do it. And here is what it looks like from the front. And there's a little Mustang logo and yeah. So let's go inside. So it is only a two seater in the back. Um, there's no seatbelt for the middle. I'm probably gonna add more grocery bags in the trunk, but the tote bag here just has paper towel and kleenex because my grandparents left like a roll of paper towel and a kleenex box in the car for me which is literally the cutest and purest thing in the world so when the roof is down <laughs> it doesn't fly everywhere but eventually i'll probably like stash napkins in there and then i can just put this bag in the trunk so there also isn't that much trunk space here is where i just store stitch's car seat um, when i'm not using it this is a cover for the convertible top for when it's down. I have a pair of spare gloves just in case. And I'm also gonna keep some microfiber towels. They're just in the wash right now. And this basket actually like just came with the car. It's so when you're driving, things aren't flying. So you just toss stuff like in the basket so it's not going like boom, boom, boom everywhere. And yeah. On the door, standard lock and unlock. Again, these really tiny pockets where I'm honestly not sure what I'm ever gonna put in here. These are for the two front windows. This is for the back window. This is all the buttons to adjust the seat. This um, sticker cover thing, the adhesive melted and it was really weird. So I'm gonna eventually have to buy a new one to replace it. Yeah, so if someone wants to like sit in the front, I just use this button to push it up and then pull this lever. I'm really short, so usually the seat is pushed way up. It's just because I was decorating. And this is actually a little neon light on both sides of the console. I'll show you guys later, but I can actually like change the colors of that. So then you get into the car. This is what the front looks like. This is just like for cruise control. These buttons here, that's a different type of lights. Dimness to pop the hood, the air vents and whatever, the speedometer, all that fun stuff. Here is where I put my phone thingy. It closes like this, and then you just press the button, and it pops out, and I like that because it doesn't need to be plugged into anything to like move. All I have to do is pop my phone in and close it, and then it's good to go. Here's my little rainbow that I showed you guys. We'll see how I like it, and if it's a distraction, I'll just take it off and maybe just hang it somewhere in my room or something. Controls, there's another power outlet here if I ever need to like charge something else or plug in like a GPS system or something, or maybe like a dash cam. I really want a dash cam. Um, here are all the buttons and everything. It's pretty old school. I don't know if my grandparents upgraded to like the phone setting for the Bluetooth, cause there is a phone button, but when I click it, it says there's no phone like installed or whatever. And then here's the Prindle. If you know, you know. I'm not sure how I feel about having scrunchies on it. It does add like some cute color and like the white matches. It's the one that's like, it's an automatic car, but you can also choose to put it in gears if you're like racing or whatever. Here are my keys that I already showed you guys. Oh wait, I forgot to put my fob on. Oh, and I also wanted to take out this spare ring. I don't think I really need a mini ring and then a big ring. I wanted to put everything on the big ring. How are we in 2021 and there's not a better invention for these stupid little rings because they like scratch plastic when it rubs. There's the before. Oh, wait, that's actually cute. That makes it look 
so much better and just feel better. Does that even make sense? And then I'm gonna put it back on my ring. Okay, so now I don't have like a ring in the middle. Everything's directly on the gold ring. So here's my key fob. This light can actually change the colors. You can't see it that well, but there's white, orange, red, blue, yellow, blue, pink. And it actually changes like back here too where I showed you guys those little circles. Yeah, you can kind of see the color change, but there is still light out, obviously. Oh, and also at night, like, the same color that's here glows, like, under the seats, like, by your feet and stuff. So a lot of people were saying on TikTok, I should LED strip things, but I already have this, so I don't know. So yeah, so then you come here, there's the two consoles with the coasters I put in, which are super cute. And then you open up this thing. So what I have organized here, these are my sunglasses with my prescription in them, so I can see I have a cute little hand lotion here, a pen, a giant bottle of hand sanitizer because we gotta stay safe. Um, and then two pouches I organized. This one holds my charger, it's gonna hold the aux cord, and it also holds the little like cigarette butt thingy that goes in there to charge with a USB. And then this is the one with my lip balm and scrunchies and a little mini perfume. These all just tuck in here. It's not that big compared to most consoles, so I can't really fit much. And that is where you plug in the aux cord, and this is where you plug in the thing to charge your phone. And yeah, and that is that. And then over here, you got all the same things on the door. And the little compartment here is really small. The manual for the car, and then two more little pouches. This one holds my masks, and this one holds like my tampon and pads, just in case. And that just goes there. A really cool part of this mirror I like is that it tells me what direction I'm going, which is kind of cool, I think. And then we also got like the normal thing that every car has, and it has a little mirror, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, same on this side too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very highly requested on TikTok, and I was so excited to post a YouTube video about it. I've been watching car decorating videos literally since I was like 13. So it's kind of crazy that I finally get to make one. Here are the shoddy shadows of this video. Thank you guys so much for your constant love and support all the time. Expect lots of summer vlogs in this car. I have one exam left in two days. By the time you guys are seeing this, I'm going to be done my third year of university, which is crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed my car decorating thing. If you see anything else, like on tiktok or you have something in your car that you think i like need please link it down below or just comment down below because i love cool finds and things drive safe if you have your license if you don't have your license get it don't be that person that waits forever to get their license get it as quick as you can and i think that's all i have to say i think that's that's my car wow anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye